This week in the boathouse, Alex is fitting all 22 of the short beams that will meet up with the Carlins for the house top. Then he'll move on to making two more lodging knees on the forward end of the house. Hold them back. She has knees! She does have knees indeed. She didn't have knees when I left. <laughs> yeah. Lodging and Victoria's. The Victoria's are in and fit and bolted. Nice. Looks great. It's kind of cool with the chunk person out of Yeah, there. I really like that. And loved it too. She's got some character. Nice man, looks good. Thank you. And then same thing on that side. And this one, the piece that we had. Yeah, you said it uh, broke. Yeah, I buggered it up. I hit it when I was uh, jointing the edge here. It caught and split like almost all the way up. Oh, weird. Yeah. So I couldn't use that, but I went out and found this in one of the black locust pieces that was out there. And yeah, it's got good curve to it. Got it in. Nice. Cool. And then over here, working on the garland joints and got this entire side done. So those are all the ones that I have and I've numbered them all okay. so that we can get the actual ones back in and not have to worry about yeah, where they go. whether they're all exactly the same or not. Cool. So, so port's all name. done and starboard to do? Yeah. Nice. I've been getting faster, so. I should hope so. <laughs> I'd be worried if you're getting slower. <laughs> yeah, they take a while. Yeah. So, how was the trip? That was really good. Yeah, the desert was a lot of fun. Yeah. And to let everybody know, we're wearing knees because Steve went through uh, El Paso. El Paso <laughs> and Dallas. On the way and back. Boston. And Boston. So. so, waiting on a COVID test, and we'll, be, we'll have them off soon, so. Yeah, we'll know in a couple of days. Sorry for the muffled voices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounded super fun. Yeah, no, it was good. It was uh, some cactus laid in hell hole at some points, and some like high alpine adventure, and some sport climbing, and white sands was just wild. It was like being on the moon. Yeah, I bet. It was like super, just surreal. Yeah, it was really good. Nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the next few days and get all the yard work done because I yeah, haven't done yard work in a while. Get the firewood split and stacked and let you uh, finish this up and we'll jump back in here and we'll get to it. That's good. Awesome. So I got all of the joints cut on the port side. So now I'm gonna start working on the starboard side. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did over there and work from aft to forward. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a closer look over here. You guys can uh, look over my shoulders as I work. <laughs> That's right.
decent. All right, now these are just rough cut ends just to get us close. So I just gotta get that in there, see how well it fits, and then adjust the angle of that. And I need my little jack plane. And when I said jack plane, I definitely meant apron plane. <laughs> All right, let's see. Give this a quick shave so it'll go in a little bit smoother. I'm not taking much off, just enough to get it to slide in there. This is gonna get smoothed out again. And then it's gonna get a layer of um, wood sealer as well as um, some varnish, so that'll fill in any of the gaps, if there are any afterwards. So. Quarter inch, just another quarter inch. Cut that on the bandsaw, and I'll be right back. Back for another day, just sharpened my chisels and my little apron plane. So I'm gonna get back to work and this will be the last push for cutting these joints. Uh, and hopefully then we can start sanding and sealing them and installing them. So now that we've got the short beams cut in, uh, I'm gonna get back to work on these knees that need to go in over here. So the lodging knees that are going in. 
So I got this one and that one to go. And once these are all set and sanded, we can uh, get the entire thing sanded down to a 220 so that they're real smooth and finished. And then we will seal them. So Randy is going to come by tomorrow and help to sand these up. And we'll see if we can uh, start sealing these guys and get ready to install them. Now that they're roughly put in here, just got to get them to fit nicely against here. Then I'll cut this end and cut the shape out. So it is getting a little bit chilly outside, 
So we've converted the spare bedroom here um, into a varnishing room. Um, so I'm gonna have a window open over here. Should be okay with uh, the air. It is definitely a lot warmer in here. So it's gonna be much better than trying to do this outside. Um, so I'm gonna start putting a sealer on these guys and then um, we will varnish them tomorrow once uh, that has dried and uh, they'll be ready to put in the boat. This should be cool seeing all these short beams going in. So I am gonna set up and uh, wipe all these guys down and set up a podcast and go to town. Well, with Steve back from vacation and hopefully done with his yard work, he'll be back to work in the boathouse next week. We'll see Alex get the lodging knees made this week riveted into place, and Steve will go to the pile made from the giant oak stumps that were gathered earlier this year. They'll become Arabella's hanging knees very soon. Thanks for watching and supporting, and we'll be back with more next week.